What's up guys, this is Gunzilla here, and today we got some big news regarding the second map pack of Call of Duty Ghosts. So yes, the second map pack, as we know of, is Devastation. It's coming with four new multiplayer maps and one bonus multiplayer weapon, the Ripper. As we covered in the video yesterday, got some more information about that. And also, one new Extinction game mode, the another uh, entry into the episodic narrative of Extinction. And this one's called Mayday, and I'll get more into that later on in the commentary. So the first map we have is Ruins. Ruins is a temple that is in South America. It is a triangular dom map with C and A on either side, and B flag is actually inside the temple. And the field order for this map erupts a volcano, which is similar to the field order on Warhawk, which is kind of like these uh, missiles or something that just crash in the ground sporadically all over. So you never know where it's going to hit, what location it's going to hit. So uh, that is the field order. Every single map has a unique field order, like the last map pack with the maps. So, yeah, they're really good in all these maps. The field orders are just really unique. So the next map we have is Behemoth. You're fighting on an Earth Excavator, which is a giant saw. It's a long to medium-sized map, but also it's really high up, so you have to watch out to not to fall over the edge and stuff like that. And this one's field order, which is so unique, is a helicopter with a minigun. So you get to fly around, circling the big giant saw, shooting down from above, and picking off people. So it looks really good. I think I cannot wait to uh, play this. I wish it was actually had this as a kill streak or point streak in Ghosts. But yeah, uh, once again, you know, I'm really kind of eager either way to play uh, the field order for this map. Now the next map is Collision. Collision is a small to medium sized map which takes place on a container ship that has crashed into a bridge and there's actually one end of the map that has a nice part of the ship where you spawn and the other spawn is where it's just destruction, where the bridge has collided with the ship. So there are two different spawns and two different completely sides of the map. One's nice and beautiful and one's just destruction all over the place. It's very symmetrical and really flat, they said, and they said it was also good for running and gunning, so I'm going to take it, you know, SMGs and assault rifles are going to be the really good gun to use on their maps. Now, they also talked about domination on this map, in particular, the BDOM flag. They said it's in the center of the map between two sniper points, and you can actually get up on there and fight for control over it. So, yeah, it sounds pretty fun. You know, you have to not only worry about the snipers, you have to worry about people up there as well, and point strengths. So, yeah, you'd probably be dying a whole lot trying to capture this BDOM flag. Now, the field order for this map, once again, is being very unique. is the A-10 jet that you can control, where it swoops in and picks up kills as it flies over the map. How cool is that? You know, I'm really, really excited to see how good this, you know, field order is. It looks like it's possibly the best field order we've seen so far. Now, the fourth and final map we have is Unearthed. So, the, this is the remake map of the map Dome from Modern Warfare 3. They reimagined it as an archaeological site. This map has a crazy twist, though. If It has a secret aliens that you can call in. It's three of them from Extinction. They spawn right in front of you. Then, they run to go look for enemies. And once they find them enemies, it explodes immediately like suicide bombers. I think that's really cool that they kind of tied it in with Extinction. And I'm also kind of curious to see how good the aliens are at killing the enemies. And you can also unlock the Venom X from Extinction by completing Easter Eggs. So guys, we have Easter Eggs are back in maps. And I'm really glad they brought, you know, Easter Egg, at least one, you know, and you could get this, you know, Venom X. Now I'm kind of curious to see how this Venom X compares to regular guns because remember the Venom X is really just facing aliens and aliens don't normally have guns so I'm more you know kind of curious like I said how is that is it going to be overpowered is it going to be underpowered you know who's going to want to use it if it's not that good and who's going to want it to not use it is uh, if it's really good so kind of curious to see how they balance the Venom X since it is from Extinction. We also have a new bonus weapon called the Ripper for this map pack. It is a new hybrid weapon that allows you to switch between submachine gun and assault rifle seamlessly. I'll go into detail in a separate video about that. So on to the last part of the Devil Station DLC pack, the Extinction Episode 2 Mayday. It picks up where Nightfall left off. You're sent to this Chinese ship to try to find Dr. Cross and save her from Archer. And they also have a new cryptid species, as always. Every new Extinction you know, entry it has a new species, and this one is no different. It has a new species called the Cedar. And it's like a plant type looking alien, which spits out kind of uh, gases and bullets, depending on you know what kind of form it's in. In episode 2, they have crafting items. Now you can find pieces to build four different variations of the Venom Axe. So that's really neat. And they also have player choice side paths where you'll find money, locker keys, and weapons. And it has, at the very end of the trailer, 
one huge Kraken alien coming up from under the sea, and it just looks badass. I'm very, very excited to play this episode. So guys, all this drops on Thursday, April 3rd, first on Xbox Live. And yes, I said Thursday, not on a Tuesday. For years, it's all what DLC and games have always been released on a Tuesday. Well, this, you know, this time they're kind of switching it up and doing it on a Thursday. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up video it helps me out a lot and I'll be bringing more Devastation DLC coverage over the next few weeks as more information is released. Peace out, guys.